Hello everyone, my name is Claire Preuss and I'm the Artistic Director at Downstage and this is Creative Stretch. Today's word is breath. Um, it is Monday, June 1st and if you know 2020 and we're in the midst of many um, global and more national, local, Turtle Island uh, realities happening right now. And so I'm going to focus today's um, session on breath, simple and gentle, encouraging us to breathe deeply, be present with ourselves and each other at this time. I'm here from Treaty 7 territory and want to acknowledge that all Indigenous lives matter, all Black lives matter, all trans lives matter, all queer lives matter, all mad lives matter. And of course that's every day. So let's start with three deep breaths. And if you can just get into a place, uh, having your yoga mat always, having your blanket, uh, have a journal and pen nearby, and, uh, and we'll get ready to practice together. So getting comfortable in your sitting bones, sitting in a way whatever way feels good for you, might be legs wide, might be legs crossed, might be sitting on a chair, whatever feels the best for you, feeling your sitting bones in the ground. And let's just take three deep breaths together. If it's comfortable for you, breathing in through the mouth, uh, sorry, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. If that's not comfortable, breathe in whatever way feels good, as deep as you can. Think of your whole rib cage as an umbrella. Breathing in, letting that umbrella open, and breathing out, let it soften back down. You can close your eyes or look at the ground if you'd like, rest your hands on your knees, or you can tuck your index finger, fingers into your thumbs and let the palms of the hands face the sky. Here we go, three deep breaths on your own time. And from wherever you're sitting, let's just start by opening up that whole area of the torso and we'll keep encouraging deep, full breaths throughout the practice. So letting your hands come down by your sides, breathing in, sweep one arm up and over, breathing out, come back to center, breathing in, other arm up and over, breathing out, back to center, breathe in as you sway. Trees coming to life right now, breathing out, back to center with their blossoms and blooms, breathing in as you sway, the leaves returning, breathing out to center. Let's go one more on each side, breathing in as you sway, breathing out to center, breathing in as you sway, and breathing out to center. Beautiful. Just a very gentle twist to start giving a little massage to our central nervous system. I feel often when I'm a little bit calmer in my nervous system, it's easier to breathe more deeply. So taking your right hand behind your bum, left hand to the uh, top of that right thigh, breathe in, feel your sitting bones in the ground, feel your spine nice and tall, and breathe out. Just twist. Look over your right shoulder. Softening the shoulders, feeling the length in your spine, and breathing in slowly and wind, coming back to center, releasing those arms, good. Other side, left hand behind you, right hand comes to the top of that left thigh, sitting nice and tall as you breathe in, and breathe out. Start to twist in your lower vertebra. Bring all the way up to the neck, softening the shoulders, deep breath into that barrel of a rib cage. And breathing in slowly and winding, coming back to center. Beautiful. Let's come on to those hands and knees now. 
And actually, we'll start with child's pose. I think I mentioned this last week that I find child's pose to be a really grounding pose, something that can help when I'm feeling overwhelmed or angry, upset, very grounding, calming pose. So just letting your body fold over your thighs, forehead to the ground, or you can always put fists on top of each other and rest your forehead onto your fists. This might be a time when you could give thanks, even for something small, like the time to practice together here. Perhaps you're giving thanks for a meal you ate or someone you just had a conversa conversation with. Let's take a couple deep breaths of thanks here. Or I welcome you to do so if that resonates with you. So good, gently coming back up onto those knees and we will move on to our hands and knees now. And I do welcome you to make fists with those hands if you'd like, or you can spread your fingers nice and wide, shoulders above the wrists, hips above the knees, moving through that spine. And you'll notice that I do this cat-cow pose very often in our practice. I just find it such a nice massage for the spine, that central nervous system, for the digestive system, and also for the reproductive system. So as you exhale, tailbone to the ground, rounding your back, chin to the chest. Deep breath in, tailbone to the sky, lengthen the belly button away from the pubic bone, back bend, looking forward or up. Breathing out, tailbone to the ground, rounding your back, chin to the chest. Breathing in, tailbone to the sky, open the belly, open the chest, keeping lots of room in the shoulders. Breathing out as you round. Nice and gentle with the movement, breathing in as you back bend. Breathing out as you round. Breathing in as you back bend. And this time as you breathe out, downward facing dog. Good. Feeling those feet about hip width apart, internal rotation through the legs. Roll the outer edges of your armpits toward the ground and root into that little half moon between the thumb and index finger right along here. One more deep breath. And our little moving meditation now. I welcome you to be very conscious of your breath, to breathe deeply, to take care of yourself with those nice, deep, even breaths slow, steady movements. And even if you just watch this whole practice, just breathe with us, even if you're staying seated on the couch or on the floor, or maybe lying down today, take care of what you need today. Breathing in, hands and knees, back bend. Breathing out, child's pose. Breathing in, hands and knees, back bend. Breathing out, curl your toes under, downward dog. Breathing in, back bend. Breathing out, child pose. Breathing in, back bend. Breathing out, downward dog. Let's do one more round. Breathing in. Back bend, breathing out, child's pose, breathing in, back bend, and breathing out, downward dog. And then walk your hands back toward those feet, tipping your pelvis forward, letting your upper body be nice and soft, keeping those feet right underneath your hip bones, outer edges of the feet parallel, Awareness of that space between your pubic bone and your belly button. And we're going to breathe in, float all the way up, reaching up, lifting up lots of room in that rib cage. Breathing out, tip your pelvis forward, diving forward. Breathing in, reaching up, lifting up, looking up if you'd like. Breathing out, tip your pelvis forward, lengthen your chest forward, come all the way down. Breathing in, spread your toes wide. 
Breathing out, good. Breathing in, and this time staying here, looking forward, interlace your fingers, let the palms of the hands face the sky. Breathe in as you sway to one side. Breathe out, back to center. Breathe in as you sway. Breathe out to center. Lots of room in the rib cage. Weight in the feet. Breathe in as you sway, guiding from that seat center. Breathe out to center. Breathe in as you sway. And breathe out to center. Good. Breathing out, letting those arms come down. Let's breathe in, just reaching up. And breathing out, let those arms float down. Good. Just a bit of gentle movement in the shoulders. So breathing in, roll the shoulders up to the ears, room under your armpits, breathing out, release back and down. Breathing in, floating those shoulders up, breathing out, back and down. Breathing in, and breathing out. One more, breathing in, and breathing out, good. Have a little wiggle if you need to. We're going to go into extended side angle pose, so continuing to work on lots of space in the side body, lots of room through the chest and back for those big, deep, nourishing breaths that we are so blessed to be able to take together. So right toes out 90 degrees, left foot in slightly. As you lunge, just check that your knee is not going past your ankle, and you can bring your elbow to your thigh or the arm to the inside of that uh, right leg. Sweep your left arm up and over, and think of making one long line from the outer edge of your left foot through the left fingertips, either looking at the wall in front of you or toward your left armpit, or you can also look toward the floor for grounding. Lots of weight in that right heel. Lots of weight in the outer edge of that left foot. Breathe into those side ribs. Let, let's take two more big deep breaths here. And exhale, looking at the ground, take both hands on either side of that right foot. Bring your left knee to the floor. We're going to move into a variation of warrior one here to emphasize that slight back bend through the chest. So interlacing the fingers behind your back, just check which index finger is at the front of your line, or you can take your hands to the upper buttocks if you prefer. Lots of floating up in the lower belly. If your arms are long, lengthen the arms back and down, float the heart toward the sky, look up to the sky if you'd like, or you can look up the ground for balance. Big deep breaths, sinking the shoulder blades down the back. Drawing that right hip back and down as you roll your left hip forward. Lots of weight in that front heel, keeping your back toes curled under. One more big, brave breath here. Beautiful. Exhale, release. Let's walk over to the other side, starting with that extended side angle pose. Left toes out 90 degrees, right foot in slightly. Lunge that knee toward your second toe. And think of even putting a bit of emphasis on, on the outer thigh, because you want to really make sure the knee is in alignment with that second toe. Elbow to thigh or arm to the inside of the leg, sweeping that right arm up and over. Big stretch, rooting into your right foot, extending all the way through those right fingertips, finding your point of focus, softening the shoulders, supporting from the lower belly, face and jaw nice and soft. One more deep breath. Good. And looking at the ground, hands on either side of that front foot. Good. Let's square the hips for that variation on warrior one. Lots of weight in your front heel. Again, check that your front knee does not go past the ankle. Interlace your fingers and try going the other direction. Other index finger at the front of the line or hands to the upper buttocks. Breathing in, blossom the chest forward, breathing out, lengthen those arms back and down, emphasizing that slight back bend, looking up if that feels good for your neck. Lots of room in the back of the neck. Sink your pelvis forward and down. Let's take two more deep breaths here. Exhale. 
exhale, hands on either side of that front foot, downward facing dog or child's pose, two breaths here. Good. Let's bring those knees to the ground, sitting back onto those heels. We'll just do one more little gentle stretch here. So bringing the soles of the feet, or sequence I guess, soles of the feet together for bound angle pose. Sitting nice and tall and letting the weight come to the front of your sitting bones. Breathe in, floating the front of the body up, shoulders back and down. Breathing out, keep that long line as you tip your pelvis forward, gazing at the big toes of the front of the front foot, gazing at the big toes of the feet. Really focusing the breath on the back body here, lots of breath into the back of the rib cage. And then slowly walking your hands over to that right knee. Keep your left buttock heavy in the ground. And this might be where you stay, breathing into the rib cage, letting your hands be heavy, shoulders soft. Or you may want to open that left armpit to the sky, sweep that left arm up and over. Big stretch, keeping your left buttock on the ground. Either, either looking toward your left armpit or toward the floor. Two more breaths. Exhale, rounding forward, slowly coming to the other side. Right buttock stays in the ground. Softening the shoulders. Always supporting from that space right underneath your belly button. Sweeping that right arm up and over, big long stretch. And exhale, rounding forward, just letting your upper body melt completely here. Two more deep breaths. Let the weight of your body and your breath take you deeper. And then slowly coming back up to sitting. Good. Oh, you might just want to give a little windshield wiper with those knees, hands behind your bum, just to loosen up your legs a little. And now we're going to move into meditation. And this is a very simple meditation as always. It's just quiet. And we're going to listen to room noise or maybe there's a sound outside like a breeze or some birds. Something easy to focus on um, that doesn't really have a qualitative much to it, you know, just a noise. Um, and we're going to listen to that just for three minutes today. We'll do a short meditation today. And I welcome you to breathe, to feel your body, to let go of any extra thoughts, and to just allow yourself the gift of that present moment, of that breath, of being still. See you on the other side.
Wonderful. Thank you all so much. And uh, now we're going to dive into a little bit of um, journal writing. So I'm going to put on some music, and I want you to think about um, what you'd like to breathe life into, maybe in your personal life or uh, in a more community or worldview life. What would you like to breathe life into? What would you like to see become more alive and full and full of growth? Um, and that might be very different kind of writing for different people. So I welcome whatever comes. It's just for you. Uh, this is um, a version of Here Comes the Sun by Yuna. It's about three minutes. dive into another song about sun. You are my sunshine. So you might think about somebody that you treasure, that you hold dear. Maybe it's yourself. Uh, maybe it's someone close to you or someone that you're thinking of right now. So I'll sing around and then you can sing a bit and I'll point to myself when I'm singing and then back to you. We'll do call and response and then we'll do it all together. Okay, here we go. You are my sunshine. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy, you make me happy, when skies are gray, when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, you'll never know, dear, how much I love you. How much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. 
Please don't take my sunshine away. Makes me think of long drives in the car with my mom. We used to sing that song a lot. I'm going to do a little bit of a longer call and response, then you folks longer call and response, and then we'll do it all together. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. All together. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. One more time. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Thank you. Um, now I thought we could try it just moving to that. So we're going to sing with it, and then we're going to move a little bit, kind of in slow motion, just to feel our bodies moving to our own our own sound, which I don't know if we've ever done in these online classes before. So just uh, letting your body move freely as we sing the song. One more time. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Nice. Thanks, team. All right, well, let's dive into our final relaxation now. And again, really allowing yourself to take this time to let go of any thoughts of past or future, to just relax, be present in your body, and, uh, and rejuvenate. So lying down on your back, some people like to sit in a chair, but if you feel comfortable lying on your back, I encourage that so you can really let go. And you might always want to put something under your knees. If your lower back is sensitive, you can roll up your blanket, put it underneath your knees. So lying down on your back, letting your feet be a little bit wider than your hips. Toes turned out naturally. Let the palms of your hands face toward the sky, shoulder blades rolling back and down. Have a little yawn. And let your jaw relax. Let the teeth be slightly parted. Let your eyes be closed and let the eyes relax back into their sockets. Whole body lying onto the ground. Feel the weight of your body relaxing into that earth energy. Take a few deep breaths here, inhaling the calm of this moment and exhaling, relaxing into that calm. Can you with our sounds around you as there are here in the studio or in this room, you can still find that calm within your body, breathing in the calm and breathing out, let your body relax. We're going to do a rotation of awareness. As I name a body part, repeat the name of that body part in your mind, or see that body part in your mind and let it relax. <clears throat> right hand thumb. First finger. Second finger. Third finger. Fourth finger, palm of the right hand, back of the right hand, right wrist, 
right forearm, right elbow, right upper arm, right shoulder, right armpit, right side of the torso, right hip, right thigh, right knee, right calf, right shin, right ankle, top of the right foot, the big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, sole of the right foot, the left hand thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, palm of the left hand, back of the left hand, left wrist, left forearm, left elbow, left upper arm, left shoulder, left armpit, left side of the torso, left hip, left thigh, left knee, left calf, left shin, left ankle, top of the left foot, the big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, sole of the left foot, right buttock, left buttock, Lower back, lower belly, middle back, upper belly, upper back, the chest, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, back of the neck, front of the neck, the jaw, right cheek, left cheek, the nose, 
right ear, left ear, right eye socket, left eye socket, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, the forehead, top of the head, back of the head, head, neck and shoulders relax, arms, hands and fingers relax, torso, pelvis and bum relax, legs, feet and toes relax. Become aware of the space behind your eyelids, the friendly darkness, and let your whole body relax into that friendly darkness for a few deep breaths. And then keeping your eyes closed, begin to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes, feeling your whole body. Keeping your eyes closed, take a deep breath in and stretch the arms above your head, reach through your fingertips, reach through your toes. And the next time you take a deep breath out, roll over to your right side. And then breathing in, slowly rolling up to sitting and opening up those eyes. Thank you all so much for joining. As you know, uh, some of you may know, all of the sessions are on our website, downstage.ca. Really appreciate you joining for this practice. Much love to all of you, wherever you may be. Thank you. <laughs>